Yeah, that would have been. been. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, what up? What up? Sorry, my hands are a little clean. Oh, you're all good. It's all good. Blow it up. Talk about it. What's up? We have Chanel West Coast. Hi, what's up, guys? My name's Rolo, aka Roland Akinduro. That's my real name. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I do a talk show called mm. Television, and this is kind of uh, an off off the cuff television interview. Got it. You know, you're in the valley, you're gracing us with your presence. Yes. I did notice your tattoo. It says blessed, right? Yes. And that's crazy. I don't know if you're into astrology, numerology, psychology, or a anything little bit. like that. I, I teach this ancient science called like destiny cards. Mm -hmm. And you're September first, right? Yeah. That's the blessed card. Isn't that crazy? The ten of diamonds. Like Jim Carrey, he's he's Wait, are you serious? I'm serious. He's a, he's a he's a ten of diamonds too. So uh, so like I think Prince oh my was god that's really too. cool okay <laughs> yeah so you the, so it's like crazy you like branded yourself with what you actually are it's like it sits right in the center of, of Jupiter and like it's like all, surrounded by all kinds of blessings the Jupiterian blessings okay so that must be why like things have went okay for me like in life yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's weird though because I have like totally like split luck it's either amazing and that's all the blessings mm. or really bad right. there's no in between. Um, so yeah, I'm still I, trying to figure that all I out. I think it comes from like <laughs> doing something really, really well, yeah. like in a past life or something for somebody. Or okay, I don't then know, I must have been a shitty person in my past <laughs> life. I probably was a murderer or something because the amount of bad luck I have, I I don't know how I deserve that. Like I don't know why. <laughs> it also says though that you could be a beggar at a wedding. So like everything's amazing happening around you, and uh -huh. you're creating amazing things for the world. But you're like, why is this happening? Yeah, you yeah. have that feeling. So it's you're you're like. Well, cool. Good to know. That's a really cool fun fact. <laughs> so it was it was, uh, was kind of cool. I was listening to your latest single. Mm -hmm. Oh, nobody, right? Yes. Nobody. I like... really I don't anymore. I mean, no. Okay, let me let me just while we're on this subject. Okay. I do fuck with people. I'm obviously a very friendly, nice. I person. feel honored that you're fucking with you us. Know what like, I, mean? <laughs> I, I fuck with a lot of people, but um, it really was more it, it kind of inspired because I've cut a lot of people off. You know, right. there's been a lot of people come into my life and. And I'm, like I said, I'm really friendly and I have a tendency to make friends with people, you know, mm -hmm. and, and who people who might come into my life because they work with me or whatever. And, and sometimes people kind of like take advantage of that friendliness mm -hmm. and they take things from you and, and actually in the long run end up hurting you. So I've cut a lot of people off and that's kind of where it got inspired. Now I'm just like, I don't fuck with nobody I used to. Um, I didn't have the, the time to fit in used to right there, yeah, but yeah. you know to? what I mean? So don't take it like, I don't want people to think I like hate people, but right. you know. Well, I mean, if you really think about it, if you break, break it down phonetically, it's, I don't fuck with nobody. So you technically do fuck with everybody, right? But it's still good. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. But you get to pick and choose who you fuck with. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's really the, the people that stay like true. Yep. So... I was also going to kind of get into, you know, like with your your current label situation, you're, you're mm. signed with Young Money. No. Cash Money. No. Nope. No, right? I no, want to no. maybe, could you talk about that a little bit? Um, it's really, it's a complicated, long story. I actually myself don't really know what happened with the whole um, situation, you know. I mean, even with Wayne and Birdman, like yeah, they're not cool no more. It's right. not even like a, a joint thing anymore. Mm. Um, it's a really long story. But let's just say that... Uh, I'm really cool with Wayne and really cool with Young Money, and I'm not currently in any contract with them. Uh, I'm actually independent, and I don't, hey. I don't think a lot of people know that. You know, I, I when I started working with Young Money, uh, and and Wayne gave me the co-sign. You know, they started pushing me right away before there was even any paperwork done because Wayne's just so cool like that. Like he rides for his artists, so mm -hmm. as soon as we kind of were like, okay, like this is what we're gonna do, we kind of shook hands. He's like, you're Young Money. They started pushing me and like putting me out there on their Facebook and Wayne's Facebook and you know Twitter and, and supporting my music that I was dropping and I think that everybody just like found out I was Young Money before there was even a deal in place oh, you know yeah, yeah. and some complicated things happened between Wayne and Birdman which right, affected right. not only my deal but a few other Young Money artist deals and uh, I think everybody's been thinking this whole time I've been operating under a label but literally everything I do has been 100% independent. It's all you. Yep. Wow, that's a surprise, and that's really cool. Thank you're, you. You're talented in that way. That's not many people have the opportunity to really express themselves how they want to. Yeah. And you kind of have, you do that. You no, that. I realize it's like that's actually the beauty of being independent. I've seen a couple people who I know like get signed into record deals, and you know they can't release music right away. Mm -hmm. Or for example, there's there was other deal opportunities I had, and 
I didn't go into those deals because they were completely trying to control what I did and trying to change my style of music and tell me what to do. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. So it's kind of cool to be independent because you can do what you want. And right. I think that's the way to really be like an authentic artist, yeah. not have a label control what you do. Yeah, because yeah. I remember you were like freestyling back with the yeah. fantasy factory. Oh my God. I saw something in you. I was like, I was literally watching MTV and, and the, this girl was just like, oh, just freestyling off the top of her head. And I was like, dude. She's going to be something. Thank you. It's, it's I'm glad you saw that in those horrible freestyles I did on Fantasy Factory. It was, it they was were unique. No, they were like, it's like, you know, it's one thing when like you got to you gotta freestyle to freestyle. You got to rap right. and you're like in that rap moment and it's right, about right. the music. Right. But like when you're chilling in the Fantasy Factory. Yo, and, freestyle. And Rob's like, rap about a burger. I'm like, what? What do you mean rap about a burger? There's only so many things you can say about a burger. Right. Like, you know, and like he'd always make me rap about random little things. And I think a lot of the time people saw like funny, like stupid little raps. And maybe they didn't get like that I was serious because they came off funny or stupid on TV. You think he was TV. pushing you? What do like you mean? pushing you forward as like as an artist or like like well, challenging you a little bit? A little bit. I think he was challenging me a little bit. I also don't know for sure if like I know Rob's always supported me and, mm. and you know, had my back, but I don't know, you know, he's not a music guy, he's a skateboarder. Mm. I don't know if he actually knew like, oh she's a real artist. You yeah. know? Oh, okay. He might he might have even in his head been like, Okay, she's this little white girl thinks she can rap. You know, right. I don't know that. I know that he did believe in me in, in some way to ask me to be on his show. Like obviously I had some sort of star power, I was funny or whatever, but I don't think he really understood, like, I'm a real artist, you know? Right. So, and if he did, he might have not made me do these stupid little <laughs> raps. Because those things, you know, actually make people not think you're serious when it comes off funny on TV, right. you know? And so that, that kind of allowed you to shed that a little bit. And now you're kind of emerging yes. as a real, actual yes. artist. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of, I see that. I was also going to ask you, who's your favorite Disney character? Um, wait, sorry, my phone is vibrating. Do I was stop like, that? What? My, bad. Uh, my favorite Disney character. Ooh, that's a and tough why? one. Uh, I think I'm gonna say the Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. Because that, that's, uh, yeah. because well, Little Mermaid was always one of my favorites, and I've always had some weird like obsession with mermaids since I was a little girl. Like mm -hmm. I always would be in the pool like pretending I'm a mermaid. Under uh, the sea. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. I love the Little Mermaid, and I think that that's the one Disney movie that they really need to attempt to make a real life version of because mm -hmm. it'd probably be the coolest. Yeah. Um, also the hardest that's maybe why they haven't done it yet but i don't know that's like I, I, my dream to be a mermaid so definitely uh, uh, <laughs> now there there are a lot of younger artists that are kind of watching you watching mm -hmm. you move you know on instagram and, and yeah. even you know with with your latest music video releases and stuff are there are there any people that you want to work with that you look up to like kind of like in the way that people look up to you yes like, definitely i want to work with drake um just, just to give you an idea of also like how confusing the Young Money situation. Call, call Drake real quick. Get him on the phone. Wait, are no, you I'm joking? I was like, I was about to be like, I was about to be like, you're my new best friend. Um, no, like just to give you an idea too, of like the, you know, it's like crazy. Like you would think like, like being affiliated with Young Money and stuff. Like I know Drake or I have met him or he would even know that I was at one right, point right. a Young Money artist. And I met Drake one time and he was like, oh, I like you on the TV show. Da -da. He's like, or first he was like, you're that girl on the TV show? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, I like you on that show. You're funny. And I was like, you know, like, I do music and, like, was young money, right? And he was like, he gave me a look like, huh? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh. And so I was like, yeah, bro, like, I got songs with French Montana, YG, like, and I'm telling him, and, like, his face was just, like, baffled. And and so we were in a club, too, so I couldn't really get more it's in. Like, it's like one of these yeah, moments. Like, like, I, yeah, yeah, It wasn't, like, the moment to be, like, it's like, I didn't have, like, a mixtape on me. If I did, I would be like, here, take this. <laughs> Check it out. But I would love to work with Drake. I just think that, like, obviously, too, like, being that, like, Wayne gave Drake the co-sign. He gave me the right. co-sign. And I think it's really cool that we're both artists that Wayne kind of put on. Right, right. Um, I think Wayne saw a little bit of himself in you, too. Really? I, I can see that's it. That's cool. That's yeah. flattery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, for sure, like, Drake's number one. And, obviously, Cardi B. Uh, I think that... You know, what I love about Cardi B is I think she's had it a little bit easier with Damn. with being the type of personality she is. You know, I, I think that it's inspiring because I think I'm kind of similar to her. We're both really funny and goofy and also make hard music. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. And you're not, you're not afraid to go there. Exactly. Like, and go. like, it's like we can be funny and goofy and friendly, nice people, but mm. we also go hard with our music. And right. 
I think that for some reason with me, I think also because I'm white, <laughs> it might have been a little bit, you know, uh, more of a situation like where... appropriation stereotypes. Yeah, people, like, they just want to be like, oh, you're this cute little funny, happy white girl, like, privileged white girl. They're like they, It's like almost like they imagine, like, me, like, growing up in, like, a house with a picket fence and golden retrievers and, like, mom and dad together. Like, that's not my life, you know what right. I mean? <laughs> so it's like... I think that because of that, it hasn't been as easy for me to be like that funny, goofy person and also be a serious rapper. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about Cardi is it's just it's worked so it's worked so well with her. And I, I would I would love for people to notice we are very similar in that sense because it's like, you know, we're we're very similar. We're both funny and goofy, but we can also be serious artists. And one thing I really love about her too is she's not a catty female who doesn't support other female artists. I've met some other female rappers um, who are basically wouldn't even like acknowledge my existence or talk to me well, <laughs> they're just bitches and cardi's not like that she's like cool. give me a hug grabbing me like grabbing my booty like give me a kiss yeah, i'm yeah. like oh shit i don't even know you yeah, <laughs> like I... she's really cool like that and that's what i love about her the openness exactly yes being real it's like the new era the people that are the most real the most themselves are emerging yes and rising yes that's often yeah i think you've stayed true Thank like you. the entire time that's that's pretty cool now is there anything that you want to say to the fans that maybe we haven't talked about right now about maybe what you have coming up what you oh well i definitely have a ton of music coming out i'm working on my ep right now which is going to be like my best collective like music you know all music together in one project it's going to be like the best thing i've done and a lot more singing uh so i want my fans to know Stay You've tuned. Got a yeah, voice. you know, because it's not just I'm not just rapping. I don't even consider myself a rapper. I'm an artist. You know artist, what I mean? I rap, right. I sing, I dance, I do a little bit of everything. So I'm an artist. <laughs> I, I, I just released a uh, virtual reality music video. Wait, are you serious? It's, yeah, it's called Still Rolling. And I was g gonna kind of get your thoughts on what you think about the new space like VR. Oh my and god. 360. Like, okay, well I need plans. to see this video because. I am recently, I've become obsessed with virtual reality. <laughs> There's an IMAX virtual reality place in LA where you can like, it's like, you're, I swear it was the craziest thing. I felt like I was in the future. Like you put on the thing and you're in another world and you're yeah. like fighting robots. I was screaming. The people were cracking up when I was done because it's me by myself. You know what I mean? And yeah. I was screaming, ducking. I ran into the wall like three times. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, it's the funnest thing though. You feel like, it's so futuristic. You feel like you're in another world. I'm like. If you have a music video like that, I need to check it out. Yeah. I want to be in... That's, so how is it? So, like, people watch it and they're in your video or what? Yeah, they're, you're, you're there. Yeah, I, I did it, like, in a way, like, a, like I kind of matched Tupac's flow on Still Ballin'. Okay, that's and, but tight. But it's called Still Rollin', so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I was going to get your thoughts on, on VR and maybe how, how you feel about that space kind of being incorporated in your music. I would love to try and do something like that. Um, I don't know what, what the what the financial situation is on get, getting a project like that together, but I would love to try something like that. I think virtual ra reality is going to blow up on another level. I think it's going to be like the new like how I said I went to the IMAX place. I mm -hmm. think it's going to be like the next like laser tag bowling. Right. Like all the Experience. kids are going to be doing it. You know, so if you can incorporate music with it, like then I think it's it's going to really. So be you're crazy. open to it? Yeah, I think that's dope. Like. Imagine if you're, I mean, like, I'm imagining how your video is, like, if I could be in a music video with one of my favorite artists, like, that's obviously a crazy thing, you know? So, I, I definitely support it, encourage it, and hope it pops off. <laughs> Chanel West Coast, check out the new EP coming soon. Yes, and Single Nobody. Nobody's Out Right Now on YouTube. Get that. iTunes. Yes. Get it everywhere. It's on all Spotify. streaming platforms. Uh. <laughs> and Tidal. Because like, apparently right? Tidal pays the most money. So yeah. go to Tidal and get Tidal. it. Tidal. <laughs> Forget everything I said. Go to Tidal. <laughs> Jay-Z. Shouts out Jay-Z. Yeah. And Drake. Work with work with Chanel West Coast <laughs> over here. <laughs> Chanel, thank you so much. No, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank, I know. That was like my Roll handshakes. Were like, uh, talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I like that tattoo. Peace. Yes. It's kind of like an ox. I'm looking at my... Uh, like, how did CMI? I forgot what hand is on. Um, it's like an oxymoron, you know? It's kind of like me in a nutshell. It's like peace, but fuck, fuck you, you at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what's up. Dripping in it. Dripping in it.